happen at C and try to play for a retake. It's going to have to come through the defensive spawn or through garage, depending on what they are able to find with the Aldrum, which they do get a tag out of one. Ethan for his first official kill here in the VCT, but it is an even 4v4. And now it comes down to steal his timing. Could it be good? No, not the case. Salmon E able to find one. And, well, that might be enough. 3v2 situation. Still trying to work their way through the dirt cover. Will be denied. Ethan, last player left alive. And NRG lock thing. Ah, I think he actually missed Hughes on the aftershock. It does get an elimination, but the spike is planted. So NRG's post plant will start to get set up largely through the B window. But there is one player lurking inside the site by the gong. That will be Shanks. EU here oh, with him. Down. And, well, Steel finds the timing. But EU clears a different side. Steel. Trying to toggle for the spike defuse, but Sam on the site. He's done well to find a couple. Last player is Android. Still has a hot hands available. Has to win the gunfight. Finds the first. Hot hands comes through. Will there be enough damage here for him to find the kill? There will be. But Nitro finds the kill, and there's plenty of time for him to allow this hot hands to dissipate and get the defuse. Massive kill. Steel just has to stay alive. He does get a bit of information off the trap wire. Shock darts are going to be there. Still trying to deny the plant. But is not going to be able to do much besides to spam shots of the dark cover in which he actually gets tagged up pretty heavily. So on the way over is Nitro. Sitting just outside the B link. There is the rolling thunder coming through. Paint shells, blast pack. Here comes the retake very quick and goodness. The space cleared from Asuna. Nasty. Finds himself one elimination. Does he expect the second? Maybe, but EU still finds the kill. But nobody is playing for the defense of the actual planet itself. And a hundred thieves just stick it. Find the easy two players that are here, and they're the only two players that will be here for some time. And even beyond that, Steel doesn't just get taken down. There was also a significant amount of damage that got into Nitro's body. So he's tagged down low. Boombot will be the first one forward. That will be denied. Information that there is there are players over towards hell. The hot hands will stall this retake attempt pretty quickly. Oh, now the aftershock comes through, but as soon as he does get flashed and hit by a recon bump, but the take is still pretty solid. It's also will find two. Now EU trying to hold things up with Shanks and so far successful. Time becoming a problem. 2v2. Nitro with his second elimination. Zaps responds to the first. Not going to get the second. But time is a problem. And Nitro's going to try to stick this. It'll be close. No, I'm pretty sure he's got it. He's barely got this. Eco from 100 Thieves not getting aggressive. Instead, they're going to force that over towards middle. They're able to get a nice flashpoint breakthrough for one. Still finds the second. EU desperately trying to hold on. And he's actually getting a fault line for a moment, but he's still able to find their eliminations. But the rifles have been collected. And 100 Thieves, they're all of a sudden in a position where, well, it was a 2v1. EU just, again, scratching and clawing his way, trying to survive, has... Made things down to a 1v1 situation, but only 34 HP to play with. Hiko's got everything here as well. Aside from the two shocks, he's got full utility. We'll find guns on the floor as well. Probably looking for something better than a Spectre. There will be something better than a Spectre on the ground once he realizes the entire mid area is clear. At this point, he's got to know it'll be A plant or C plant. He's just waiting for the retake. Now, both players have Hunter's Fury available. And I'm just going to say this as well, but EU being on 34 means Hiko only needs one shot coming through from the Hunter's Fury to be effective. So this is going to come down to where the knowledge is. How big are the brains on both the Sova players? Early recon is going to come through onto site itself. And you can see how far away EU is going to be playing. The issue here is if EU goes for a Hunter's Fury first and Hiko counters with his own Hunter's Fury and connects, that's the round yep. over. I roll the spike. EU not going to play for the Hunter's Fury, but does get shrugged off the angle. Hiko wants to challenge, but now has to reconsider. As he will come over, EU will connect on one and the okay. second. He Slow things down considerably. Ethan on the back lines, by the way. Ethan used from the shadows. He could get a flank going, and the rest of 100 Thieves need to arrive very soon because the plant's going to come in. The flash play from NRG successful. Paranoia and the curveball used. Hiko not going to connect off of his first 200 Fury shots. The third one also missing a bit wide. Ethan on the flank has dealt with one player, but this is, of course, Android responding as required to make sure that he does not make any further attempts. So 100 Thieves retake will have to largely wait until they find success from the front. Paranoia comes out. Oh, and oh my goodness, Android gets baited by the from the shadows. What in the world happened right there? One for one exchange. Time now again becoming a bit of a problem for 100 Thieves, but they're on the full surround. Som right on top of the spike site. We'll see one player. Shanks able to assist onto Ethan. Last hope comes down to Hiko. He will find the first, but time becoming no an way. issue. And now as he gives he up goes! the full defuse. Wait, no, not going to be there. <laughs> I was going to say goodness gracious. Oh my God.
That's a heart attack and a half there. I gotta say, on other parts of the map, Ethan, he hasn't had kills because no one goes C. Here we go, Asuna, probably looking for two, somehow misses, so that one's an official Rosa ult for sure. Very low HP for a few members of NRG. Shanks will get a kill, and we even up four and four. A lot of damage still was confirmed on the back end of that showstopper. 4v3 for 100 thieves, but NRG do successfully get the plan. Knowing that there's a player up top in heaven, he's able to find the first, Sam the second, but Ethan's on the way in. Shanks misses the right click. He was able to create a bit of space. Still 2v2, you're in doable here. Ethan for one, not gonna get the snap on the EU. Now down to Hiko, no chance there. EU crouches under for his third kill and NRG again. Behind it, not gonna be able to confirm a kill. Maybe a missed opportunity. Cost enough for one, steal another. And how about the third for 100 Thieves? They make their way on brilliantly. Nitro to play a little bit of cannon fodder up front. They cleanly retake. Are you on? Oh my god. Time, 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 time. Is it gonna get there? Sure will. Last second retake. Good for Mahan. No, it's definitely A. Yeah, there's a lot of information here, but caught with a flashpoint out is Nitro. Asuna's good for one, but the trade is immediately there. Hunter's Fury also trying to get into play, and it will find a bit of damage, but no elimination. So after everything's all said and done, it's a 4v3 in favor of NRG to get the spike planted. But you do have the ability for 100 Thieves to continue to try to play a retake from the flank. Run it back will also be spent. That's instantly denied by Hiko. And Ethan will reconsider his flank play as he rotates right back through middle to join 100 Thieves on this retake attempt from the front. Steel already in. And the shot dart from Hiko finds the kill. Recon Bolt finds absolutely nothing. Through the dark covers we go. Android good for one, but it's another 2v2. Hunter's Fury gonna come out trying to deny the spike defusal and it finds elimination. Halfway done. Ethan trying to stick, does not fully hold it. And shakes. Will exist up top in heaven. The spy cam will tag one. Long range shots, though, will force him away. And now you turn your attention over to NRG's flank attempt. Steel here in combination with Hiko. Nice. Beautiful first shot from Hiko. And I think he realizes that that no way is this the only player that's in the mix. Wide Peak will get information that Android's here. He will find a counter trade, but NRG's defense on the retake from the front much more successful. And it comes just down to Steel for a 1v4. Yep, and now Steel, just looking for one kill here, misses all the shots, and E will pick that one up for, I believe, his second so far this round. Some got a few as well, some go for the defuse, so what are we doing? Rushing, potentially, from the shadows. John Bolt, but Daps is not in a position to take advantage of it. So energy will have to forfeit, and then play the retake. Keep in mind, you've got Ethan on a long flank, but will he actually be in here in time? Because Shanks is already on the way in. I think he got body blocked by a Steel, and recognized his movement was not as smooth as he would normally anticipate. Good trades, though, for 100 Thieves, and as EU tries to make a play, he gets shut down even before Ethan's full flank is there, so... It's actually a sheriff shot through the wall that confirms the very fast rolling thunder. That's massive by Nitro in terms of timing for ultimates to do that twice in a row and two different halves. Probably won't have to use it here. He would only use it if they really start losing control site. Ideally, he'd like to say the rolling thunder for the next round and trying to just hold on to this garage control as well. Ethan will be first contact, sees a leg, probably gets a kill. They have revealed each other's positioning and Nitro swings. Oh, but Nitro. Can he hold on to this Vandal? He gets the Aftershock out. Will not be a challenge initially for NRG. And now Nitro turns his attention back towards Grass. And NRG, of course, giving up on the play for Saving? the Diffuse. Just trying to play for maybe an exit kill or two. Just comes down to the timing of it. And it's not even exits, though. Yeah, this is like very passive. <laughs> They don't have guns. They, there's there's nothing to save here. So unless they're trying to save the upgraded weapons. Whoa! Oh my God. Okay, hang on a second. Here shift. To the point where they're still stuck on site. Like this is not a good post plant. Ethan at least gets the initial kill into Andro. They are fully stacked on site. Maybe they're just gonna stick to this now. Maybe they're just yeah. gonna stay. Might have to play through the smoke over towards Link and spawn as well. Paranoia, I believe, catches two. So you see if NRG can make it time. Well, they have to be able to find two eliminations, but now it's just down to Sob. One v one, Ethan. For three in the round, cleared out the defender spawn. The first stalls things out. The second attempt for the plant now coming through. Shanks is on the way. He misses the right click. And Nitro and Hiko are able to gain enough space to get the spike planted. Oh, NRG were just trying to play the clock, but it turns against them. And now they're in a 2v5. That right click miss can have serious implications here. It has some very dire consequences because NRG are probably not going to win this round. Android will try his best, run it back, instantly gets punished. Dabs oh, can't no. get anything done towards window either. And here it is, Nitro with as well. Good shock dart placement for me, you. Ethan, we'll see that there is information down low. Call the curveball out of the Android, but he stays alive. Ethan able to find the first kill. EU desperately trying to hold on, but it's also not able to find two kills. And with that energy have been bounced out of the A site, allowing Nitro a plant.
and they gotta save nrg shouldn't go for this it's 2v4 there's a rolling thunder as well i mean if they go for this they might be to force out the rolling thunder they kill nitro which is actually even better but the tag onto zombie of the cam is definitely annoying with this kind of 2v3 and low hp on a sooner i think they've actually got a reasonable position now but know Wait. that if they lose their economy is really screwed 2v2 all of a sudden and daps is making a play for it they know exactly Skill is playing. Dabs good for the first 30 HP. Shock dart. Ooh, just barely dashed away from. Spy cam will come out. Gets the tag. Tries to make the play, but Hiko denies. At 100. A lot of damage on shocks. Oh, he does find a lot off the first, but it's still Ethan that gets first blood and then puts himself right back on for the plant. The judge play will be good. And the spike planter does get killed and does not fully get planted. So now it's a 3v2 and dabs at long range. Finds a kill on Hiko. Just down to steal, and he's behind this entire play. He's gonna have to go and go quickly, or NRG will tie this up off of a thrifty. No more time to plant. Has to play for the kills and won't even be able to do that. EU shuts it up. Lurking through grass, does not see his counterpart and daps initially, but tries to turn his aim to him. Not gonna be good for the kill. So 4v4 we go, but a post plant set up in favor of 100 Thieves. That's actually a huge read from Daps as well. I think a lot of teams have now wisened up the fact that you do have a lurk coming through, but never mind that Android with a runner back will get two. So far looking through to get just enough time to spot the third. Can't quite get the kill to Nitro. Tagged by a drone as well. He's been revealed. Good flash. So far, no one's really coming in. Flash will allow him to get shanks though. 3v2 situation. Android fighting his third elimination just down to Hiko. Still has an Aldrone to play with. Sees that nobody's on the spike for now. Needs to keep his life. Finds the first kill. Gets the second. This would be a 1v3 for Hiko, but Android finds the fourth kill. Time. A problem. Does he still have it? No, he does not. Hiko clutches things up. And 100 Thieves find themselves. Clear though of A long. Three players stacked that direction. And with a little bit of aggression through C, they should know that this play is online. Showstopper denied. Som finds a second. He stabs to a third. How about a fourth? No. Ethan able to keep this play alive for 100 Thieves, but at what cost? Daps now from behind. EU from the side. Easy shot there, and NRG cleanly get the retake. Oh my goodness. What an opening play, though, from Som. Yeah, just keeping the nerves calm there is all for NRG. Okay, we've lost B control. Formation. And 100 Thieves, the Gambit, ends up being correct. The dart will reveal nothing. The plant will come on through, and it will have to come down or retake. The two duelists for NRG quickly making their way over. Nitro just has one fault line. Blades are out for Shanks. Can he make a play to try to save this? Take a 13-11. Fault line stalls the hit. Recon Bold, as you mentioned, came through. Nitro sees a bit of information, but wants to play off the intel onto the Soma player, but it shakes over no. the top for one. EU considers hitting for the defusal. Eco, he finds one elimination, steals the backside lines up the following two, and we've got overtime, 100 deep. Nice paranoia Flash. that stalls things down. 15 seconds on the clock. The hit now underway. Ethan caught in a million different types of smoke fall. Down to 10 seconds to go. Steal for two has kept this site opened up, at least for now. Down to five. Spike will plant, and Daps is lurking. One enemy. If he overpeaks here, though, it could be problematic, and Nitro, he finds one elimination, the flash point out, but EU avoids it, turns, finds his third. Towards hell, Spike will be planted. Up top, we've got EU trying to keep his life, but Hiko somehow, some way, finds a headshot, giving numbers to 100 Thieves, trying to respond with an offense of their own. For NRG's retake, three members from the front, Daps a long play through A, in which there's a trap wire that'll stall his hit. So you have to really focus on what's coming from the front. Android, the first one forward. Oh my goodness, the flash is brilliant. Finds two for free. Thumb now here to help, but it's Nitro and Steel. Locking things up, sinks from the high ground, no chance with the operator. And we're- Problem is, I don't think 100 Thieves are gonna play mid. I mean, maybe one player looks like to check. Down, Some has actually got to go through window he might see the spike as well he might have a timing asuna's probably dead certainly is now he's got to get away close by is hiko hiko could trade this one hiko's got to go for the drone he's not going to swing the tag is going to be good on the tracking dot but they can't confirm the kill and off that and actually pull back one kill less than 40 seconds now 100 thieves haven't made any moves towards either a or c there was a window there for energy rather yeah. 100 thieves to make something happen left. on a and c because NRG was stacking hard B, and now the NRG are back into defaults. 100 Thieves are out of time. they got to go. Can they block off this angle from Shanks, though? The answer, no. Keeps it completely open, and Shanks is able to capitalize. 
DU, shock dart right in front of his face, and Steel will find the kill even though he's tagged down. Spike does get planted. Now it's down to the retake attempt. Sam is good for not just oh one, but God. two. And Daps cleans things up. We initially go off and- Energy are setting up their post plan in this 4v5. 100 Thieves are going to be full hitting this from the front, and Steel's found a second elimination. Eco clearing space with the Aldro. Sees a player down low. That's Sam. At least stall things out the paranoia, but Steel no, finds you, his no. third elimination. Could he possibly just do it all himself? Might need to. Do you and Som find a couple of kills? Som, are you good for more? Yes, he is, but would not been too much of a problem as 100 Thieves full execute. And they put themselves on 15 first. Ah, uh, EU have to find a way to cleanly break this if you're 100T. Boombot gets denied. EU holding onto Recon Bolt. Paranoia comes out, but the Recon Bolt will also be into play. Finding some information. Som trying to spam through the C Garage Alley, but it's Ethan who finds first blood. EU with the Shock Dart, though. Android one more. Tilting in favor of the NRG defense, and Daps takes down the Spike Carrier. Not done yet. Hiko's still alive. Will fall. All rests on the shoulders of Steel, where eventually that camera will scout him out. Trying to play forward, nowhere to go. Long flank, but Daps is so slow. Initially, it looks like Daps is getting high. Daps is getting a lot of value because he's slowing down the retake. He's forcing a doable 4v5 post plant setup. Super open though. I don't know if C Long could necessarily see it. They're not going to play there. Steel's actually hidden behind the box into the back of sight. NRG have a player advantage. Can they use it effectively? Here comes Paranoia. It will be countered by the Aftershock and Nitro as well. But with Ethan down, it's now down to a 3v5. On the next kill. Flash point on the way through. Keeps Nitro alive. He finds two. Not a third, though. Pico. Can he potentially save the day? Sure, oh, why not? And a hundred thieves. Clean up the energy. NRG steal. Was he ready? Yep. Finds one. Not going to be able to get a second, but help is here. Ethan, patient. Not quite enough, but it doesn't make a difference because Steel has found three. Picks up a sheriff, but he will punish. And so we'll stay with a small advantage for 100 thieves in this offense and a 3v2. Steel may be getting a little bit greedy there. She's a free gun into the ground. Likes to lap that one up and it's going to give NRG maybe some oh. utility to win, especially with Daps. Long range headshot onto Nitro. No more healing. Plant's going to come in, but there's enough time for the rest of NRG to regroup EUs on the way here. Half HP for a Sooner as well. And he's making a long rotation back to short. There's a small timing window. Might be an isolation kill. I don't think NRG realized it. Now 100 Thieves are back together. Yeah, I don't think they fully expected... Austin had to give up the showers play to come back towards middle, but as soon as he throws out these paint shells, that will be information gained. Al drone out. Tag will be there, but EU able to find the kill. Just down to Hiko. He's been so good with these shock guards. Can he be so once more? Tries to make the long peek, but he gets tagged up heavily. Does it even matter? Hiko, 1v1. Oh. Bang! Bang! Hiko for two! Oh. Dicey engagement so far. Time becoming an issue. 30 seconds to play. Everything will have to go through Shanks, who's down to 22 HP. He does hear the footsteps. Can he go one kill here? Yeah, sure, why not? That's also the spike down. Wait, the barrier orb is also in play. If he can hold his life a little bit longer, maybe there's an opportunity to kill the clock off. Sam is also essentially in this play, if not just barely. Tries to spam to the dark cover. Gets a bit of damage, <gasps> but the spike does get planted. Unbelievable. 3v4 situation. Still not done yet. Shrouded step for Sam as he gets on top Smoke of the and play. And now it's just down to Nitro to try to hold on to this. Knows Smoke. that he's got some wall to work with. Timing of the peak, not favorable. And now it's up to Steel. One HP. They're looking. They're trying to find him. Steel finds one kill. Tries to spam. The defuse is in play. Gonna stay alive. Shrugs them off, but Som finds the kill. Put it down. Here comes Hunter Spirit trying to clear out the angles, and they will get Android down. Four versus four now. Plants coming in. Ethan should be able to get this one pretty safely. Nitro coming through from the side as well, having control. A little bit of control over towards Elbow. Finds a gun into the ground. 100 Thieves now feeling much better about their opportunity. NRG are going to have to retake this by moving through Elbow. Three players currently there. Daps waiting for an opportunity to peek from the main defensive door. And here comes his move. Paranoia comes out. Will there be any kills for it? No, 100 Thieves are going to find one, but Shanks finds his way on for two. If even exchange, pinstripe kill feed 2v2 situation. Paint shells, gonna deal some damage to Hiko, but he still finds the kill. Has he killed off enough time? They know where Steel is. Deals with the recon bolt, tries to spam. Wait a second, EU finds the kill. Does he have time to secure the back end of the plan? Of course he does. And EU saves the round for- It comes a sooner though. 
Light up in showers, gets the first kill, connects oh. onto the second as well, and that's going to open up 100 things to collect this round, potentially three versus five. Now, ultimate's available for NRG, but they would have to start thinking about using these. Oh, oh, oh. Android's down, so you can count out that runner back now. This round is going 100 thieves, 100%. Exactly Unbelievable. I mean, initially for NRG, the delayed peek through shower, I think, maybe raises a couple of question marks. But then beyond that, just the beautiful read pushing Android back off the paint shells. A couple of trailing tap shots through the cyber cage. Good for the kill. And like you mentioned, this would be a very difficult round. I think you would feel that NRG could even potentially even get a retake on the cards. And EU will sneak in towards lamps, at least initially. But he decides to fade back. And like you just mentioned, keep the weapon. Which is not great for them. Also a trap. Well, I believe that's from Steel. Here comes the teleport from Ethan as well. Does he commit? Not quite, but he checks no one's there. Shanks' position has been revealed. Defensive Hunter's Fury out for EU. This bike's still planted behind the barrier orb. Damage coming through from a multitude of different angles. 100 Thieves down to the three players. Android clears lamps with the run it back, and it's just down to Hiko. Would be probably the most incredible 1v5 we've ever seen, but not going to happen here. So the running back comes out, the Hunter's Fury comes out, yeah. and NRG went a flawless defense. I'm pretty happy with that. I think those are two good ultimates burn to sort of get their weapon. Himself an ultimate orb, curveball, paint shells as well coming through, making life extra difficult for 100 Thieves. Android, down low, he's good for one. Shakes responds to Asuna, who was blast packing into his face, and now it's up to equal again. 1v4, now made a bit easier, but the spike is not in hand. There will not likely be enough time for him to confirm all these kills. And NRG will be up 5-2 to two here early on by. He being exchanged, but Hiko's going to use his to go to Hunter's Fury. Can he confirm? Sure, why not? How about a second? Hiko for two off the Hunter's Fury. Zap's trying to hold on. Throws out the Neural Theft. This is 100 Thieves in a very disadvantageous position off the weapons alone, but they've made things interesting. Still onto the site is Asuna. He'll fall, but Hiko turns to more traditional weaponry. Finds a headshot. We've got a 3v2 in favor of 100T who have gotten onto the site for a plant. But Nitro <gasps> reads the teleporter Daps. and Daps will shrug him off, but immediately wrapping back to what will be a wide open A site for 100 Thieves. Oh, Daps has a 1v1 now. Hiko's here. They got a battle. Oh! Hiko wins it for four kills and a headshot with the Sheriff as well. This is a Hiko round for sure. EU, my dog here as well. Ethan will take it down. And I said this already, Shift. I said the plant in. Daps should get a one for one gig. He'll probably die afterwards, but the first kill's for free. The second one's going to cost extra, and he's not going to get it. Nitro gets the cleanup here. Showstopper coming on through from the side of Asuna. Is it going to hit? Might not matter. Android's getting more than a bit of value off this runner back. He'll go down and eu no hp no chance steal three kills and 100 thieves now up four so now if you're 100 thieves you're just looking at this play through a main as far as being your only barrier of a success daps will read it with the spy cam but also gets pushed back Saab makes use of a trap wire for an elimination and nrg's defense in a very solid spot nitro is going to try to stick for a plant but as soon no! as the cyber cage fails daps able to find the kill and it comes down to a 2v4 Okay, is this still doable, Mike TP? Yes, he will TP, but... Yeah, Steel came back, though. Steel's gonna have to really try and lurk here. That's one really decent kill. He needs oh. to try and get a TP. Gets a third onto Android, and now Neural Theft into the teleporter. Pretty decent. Trying to bait someone to follow him. Neural Theft is gonna allow Hiko to find locations, get the free plant. TP over means they have, they should have, who can control plus Lom, NRG, doubled entry through from CT, two versus two, low HP on Steel, remember 30 HP, he's one shot away, Steel needs to play this one very carefully. Reveals his position, player nearby gets Stand. caught, just down to Hiko, but he said that a couple of times before, there's the first, knows the second contest is nearby, throws a shoulder, tries to take the fight, gets him caught mid-reload, and Hiko does it! Again! Hiko won for 100 Thieves. Because out of the five successful rounds, it feels like at least three of them have been. But NRG, not phased, find the opening three eliminations, keeping B Long safe, and that's the spike carrier taken down. And more importantly, Hiko does die, but Steel is in play still. Steel <laughs> would have to go pretty large here. Not a lot of HP. Sooner's still there. Sooner can definitely bait Steel in this next play. I mean, they have to recover Spike, though. They have the ultimates. They lost Hiko, which means no Hunter's Fury. And Hiko's been probably the biggest issue for NRG to deal with so far. Waiting for the smoke to fade. Trap comes down as well. I don't know if that's going to reveal too much. Camera doesn't see anything. Just checking the ones inside. Steel, again, Steel nice has to bait. Shells. This needs to be huge for the soon. 
Curveball comes out. They try to make the play, but it's the shells that actually confirms the kill. So now you're down to a 2v2. How have they been allowed to do this? This is what, a 2v5 situation? And now 100 Thieves have the B site. Hunter's Fury coming out. That will take care of Steel. Paranoia was though also spent. Asuna trying to hold on, but EU from across the map. Thieves for their offense, but again, the statistics might not matter too much. Uh, troubling position there for Steel. Beautiful hot hands. Not able to use the Cyber Cage to get out. So a first blood for energy here in the pistol, which will likely lead to an execute to B, and it does. But Nitro up top, deals with a spike carrier, stays alive, gets the reload off, but not going to find anything beyond it. Daps also tagged down low, but is able to survive for now. Ethan takes the position of his former squad mate. Right click's not going to be there, and now we've got a 4v2 post plan in favor of NRG. Ethan would need to win that 1v1 to allow a 3v3 retake to happen. Because he doesn't win that, they don't have any uh, control over into Hooker. No control into Hooker means 100 Thieves. This will be a very difficult retake. Even with Hiko alive on full HP now, Asuna has only 48 to play with. Would have to win this 1v1. Does versus EU. Can he clear the risk of long? No. Sam will get it. And now Hiko by himself. 1 versus 3. Not going to happen in NRG. But we've seen 100 Thieves win Thrifties before. Early damage on Hiko, and he's down. And Shanks will now be responsible for this teleporter play, which sees all of 100 Thieves here. Here comes the swing. Shanks good for one. Lots of damage into a second paint shells just to keep him safe. Help has also arrived in the form of EU. And NRG have only dropped one in this exchange. Spike has been planted. Nitro by himself. Going to get overwhelmed. NRG for this does catch a shock dart in the process, but will successfully get the plant off. So 4v4. We go spam How shots from Eco. What in the world? That's ridiculous. I mean, that's good enough now that 100 Thieves should be able to cleanly retake this one. There's three over towards long. A little bit more U-Tool will lock them out. There's no wall. There's no smoke for another 10. Okay, Shanks are going to make it interesting. The recon could be pretty huge as well. They haven't quite deleted the recon yet. Time has got to maybe be an issue here. Uh, EU's going to be good for one and a second. Not a third, Ethan. 1v1 situation. Ah, doesn't expect the last player is also over towards B-Long. Zaps cut. At any point of contact with this, Ethan will actually commit to the from the shadows from behind. 1v1 versus Daps. It would be a big one, but he gets worked around the barrier orb. The Hunter's Fury that comes through doesn't even stall the spike plant. NRG looking prime for 12 unless someone can absolutely pop off. Is it time for Asuna? Well, maybe. Finds himself too. That will allow Hiko to get onto the site. Has to clear out showers. Does he get a timing here into Android? Wants to try to push. Sees the weapon. Finds Arrow. the kill. Asuna for three. 2v2 situation. Now it falls on the shoulders of Asuna. Would have to be an ace. Gets information. Finds the fourth. Knows where the last player is. Paint Shell's trying to push him out, but can he actually find the kill in time? Blast back over. Asuna will use this to get at least to halfway in the defusal. Shanks on the opposite. Picture in picture. Oh my god. An ace for Asuna! Keeps 100 Thieves, not just in the map! Players currently looking over towards Hooker. It's gonna be a recon tag as well. Shanks gets Asuna. Traded though, massive from Asuna. Asuna wasn't supposed to be able to get a trader. That was meant to be a one for zero, but the one for one is so good for 100 Thieves as Ethan also TPs over. Might be an over TP. No, he is gonna be here in time because NRG are committing to be. Daps, good for one. Nitro trying to hold his ground will fall. Ethan is going to be the next one up. He's trying to get behind this play quickly, and he is already in here in Hookah, but he will reveal his position by trying to fire through the dark cover. Help is, though, on the way. It's Steel that will be here. 2v3 retake required. Bit of information off of the jump peak. Will there be any actual challenges to this play over by Hookah, though, is the real question. Steel just doing his work on the container. Has not found much, if any, damage whatsoever. Ethan now down and in. Not going to find the first kill on the EU, and Sam picks up the rest. 12-7, NRG on map point. Any minimal. People don't have ultimates as well. They have a Nero from Steel. It's not going to be enough at all. Looking over towards the end of that now, and this is where they go for the hit. Blind showstopper connects onto Steel. It was just trying to be used to clear off the quad box, and Ethan in a cheeky corner could not find anything with it. NRG. 5v2 now as EU finds the kill. They want to go to a set. Two kills away from doing it. It all rests onto both Nitro and Hiko. And you've got a judge in the hands of Nitro. It would look to be an AR or a Guardian. No, it's a Bucky. I'm just kidding. It's just a weird skin. Makes his way forward. Does he see one? A lot of damage. Finds the kill. That should be a weapon collected. Clears the tight corner. Nitro will be the one with the weapon in hand. Daps, though, finds the immediate kill. It would have to be a 1v4. No chance. 
NRG not going to give up this as they do have the spike committing to getting into A at the moment. Recon bolt will be sent out, so you have to imagine that NRG will likely be waiting for this take until they maybe get it charged again, unless this play for the tree is good. Eco, shock dart at his feet. A lot of damage, but no kills to speak of. And Nitro is currently stuck behind this barrier orb. He's going to see if it in information finds a kill. Hello, and eventually falls. And so now as NRG have taken the site, it's once again up to 100 thieves seeing if they can find a way to retake. I mean, that was pretty funny as well. You see Solomon E do a double take. Like, I think I saw someone behind the wall. Was there someone there? Yep, there was a player. Nitro was there. <laughs> I'll get the kill. Technically, I mean, it's a bit of a cheesy play. Nitro can only get one kill there likely before he goes down. It's a 4v2 now. I'm not expecting too much from 100 thieves unless maybe Steel can really make some magic happen. It's down to Eco, the Clutch Master, but one versus... Still wins the battle. Now here comes the take from behind and the front simultaneously. Curveball in. Ethan will be flashed up and revealed, but Nitro for one. Stop trying to find a way to trade things around into favor of NRG and boy will he two with the specter the quick swap over to the ghosts all he would need is a phantom here to make this quite a spooky spectacle OHP though so one good right click from steel could at least get that kill the other two will be much more difficult steel has to go absolutely large and even if he gets a kill I mean I just see steel being traded here 80 HP now. Position revealed. Has to push through smoke as well. There's limited time. I don't think Steel really wants to save a Bucky, so he's definitely going to go for um, it. Uh, what? EU kills Som? Okay, that's really not the play energy we're looking for. Can Steel find timing to pick up another kill here? No. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> pick to get Som on board. Ethan is the only defense member that was initially on the A site, but you also have to watch out for Steel as he continues to just lurk around corners. My goodness, how good is he at doing that? Boombot almost able to come into play, but oh. nothing can make a difference. Asuno, another nice snap. 4v2 situation. Dap desperately trying to hold on. Patient shots from EU, but cannot find the kill into Nitro, leaving Daps at 1v3. 16 health to play with. And well, eventually all of the angles will be cleared. Although Daps has seen one and a second. If he gets this third, but not going to happen. I say maybe he finds the kill into he This Bucky into play. Like Som setting up. Oh, but Steel still finds the first kill. Nanosurver also come in. He even reads the dash into play, but Shanks, after taking the brute force of one Bucky shot, will still find the kill and will go 4v4. I mean, he's got a, a couple of pixels to work through. Still manages to find the right click. Ethan gets the kill in the dash as well, so no plot for now. It's going to delay things for NRG. Low HP for Shanks. It's not looking great for their chance at the post point. They would have to find a, another kill pretty quickly. Shanks oh. in position. Line up. As soon as Ethan get cleaned up, that's three now that Shanks has got on board. That's 3v2 as well. 100 Thieves. Nobody to heal. Hiko plus Nitro on an off angle. They have at least got three. Hiko on the recon. Destroyed. Does get the read that there is a player in hell, but does he read that there are two players down low is the real question. Nitro seems to think that, okay, maybe we can get a nice little pick here, but EU shuts it down before it can really occur. Hiko in the dark cover does feel blessed to find one, but as well. These still have three players alive, but they lose their lockdown. I think that was their biggest tool here. Yes, there was a Bucky on Steel. Uh, yes, he was trying to get aggressive, but because he dies, that was the one big ultimate for the retank off the table now. And NRG even get the free heal onto Andrus. The one member that was quite low that perhaps Under Thieves could have killed is gone off the table. Under Thieves now have entered B, but they have so much to clear. 2-2 two, two post plant setup. Nitro deals with one. They don't expect the second, but Daps is now revealed from the position with the Spectre. Blast Pack will push him around. Nitro for the kill. Retake looking pretty prime to go. 3v2 situation. Curveball for Android. Can't follow up on it. The recon bulk can reveal some position. They're going to stick for a resurrection as well. Simultaneously, Nitro finds the third. Shanks, tails on the blind storm, finds one, finds the second, looking for the full ace. Needs to find the fifth. He's actually killed largely enough time off. Oh, what a commitment that is for Shanks. Committed to the blind storm. It's good enough for energy to hold the post blind and go up. Denies the running back from finding too much information. Now EU in the Hunter Spirit trying to clear off that back archway, but he's missed largely about everything. So NRG. As they move forward just with the weaponry, it's good for a couple. He go almost, exactly but only with a find of one of what would have been lovely to get a second. Showstopper in the play quickly for Austin to find one. Actually able to use the blast back to stay alive, and Ethan has found a kill. What a retake that is from a hundred thieves. One more player to deal with is Android. Mike is though being held. Android good for one, but the hot hands does not connect, and the retake is good, even in the face of... And actually coming over towards A. 
Here comes the hit. Claude bursts in play, but the flash is good. Also enough finding the kill. Also, that means the spike carrier's down, but Som responds to both defensive players in the A site. Hunter's Fury coming out. He go able to find the first kill onto Som. Would love to get more, but not able to do too much. No damage to speak of either as Android will recover the spike. Immediately stick for a plant. And there'll be a 2v3 retake required. Daps is just on a sheriff, but we've seen him do incredible things with this pistol. One of which might be right around the corner. In versus Nitro! Oh my god! <laughs> you couldn't write a better script than that! And it's just up to Eco for a 1v3, and I guess I'll pay him the same due diligence. We've seen him do incredible things in situations like this as well. I think if Nitro gets that kill, this is a different round. It's two versus two, possible retake. He goes just trying to take a bit of revenge for his teammate that will do so, but that might be all he gets. He gets the cleanup there, and I just don't have to use anything further. Two alive still, and- Through the middle of the map, this is a big 1v1, and he actually catches Nitro, finessing for a barrier orb. Run it back, coming out. Curveball denied. Steel, able to help take care of the first illusion of the Phoenix. Has to back down as the Aldrone scouts him out, and NRG, they're trying to still force the- Round peg into a square hole here. And they'll eventually get on if they get the kill off their steel. Now the 3v4 retake with a post plant Hunter's Fury as well. Not in the best place, so I'd like to see you maybe go towards where Shanks is, maybe swap positions. And at this point though, Hunter these have to think about whether they want to go for the retake or not. There's not a lot of rounds left though, so if they don't go for the retake, they sacrifice another one over to NRG. Eight to two. Android kills Ethan, and now two alive. There's really just not going to be any time. And if he is at least going to use an ultimate, Hiko makes it slightly more expensive. Hiko, if he, or sooner rather, if he goes for this, likely he is just going to die. Well, he does find one pretty darn cleanly. Knows the second one's down low, but EU ready for the challenge. Takes the win. Part of this play. So Android's going to have to finesse for a while, and oh, he gets caught with no ammunition. Sentry turret becomes more of a hassle than he would have normally anticipated. Door will go down and he will try to break. Nitro will fall. Operator now off the table. 4v4. The spike has made its way on. And Daps will get the plant off successfully. Lockdown immediately going to come through as response for not just one team, but the recon bolt will be there trying to deny an immediate push through. And NRG will get away from this safely. Just comes down to how are they going to re-retake their own spike site. Showstopper now coming forward. Asuna trying to clear things out. Does find the kill on Android, but the trade is there for EU. Sob as well. Also finds not just one, but a second. Steel is sticking for a defuse, but it's getting pushed off by the recon bolt. Here, as Shanks is close by to this barrier orb, but is not taking any shots. Steel is making sure the back stays safe by watching through mid map. And if he finds timing, maybe there's an opportunity for another free kill. At least a little bit of damage will be confirmed. And the energy retake will be stalled pretty convincingly. But now that the orbs have fallen away, Steel, mid, able to find another kill. Hiko, recon bolt in hand. Go away from Claude Burst to fade away. It's on to Ethan. At least go one for one. And he does. Shots from Hiko. Another headshot comes into play. Shock darts being exchanged. He backs away from it, but the recon bolt finds nothing and steel falls. NRG, if they win this pistol, is it potentially game? Maybe not because the nano sword finds the first kill. Android finds elimination, but he will not get here in time. And 100 Thieves take a required pistol round. Steel staying alive there for so long, getting the kill over towards mid on Daps as well. He it's gonna clean out Shanks, the boom boss, so well played by Suna. But again, this is 100 Thieves running into where NRG are defensively stacked up. They do find first blood onto Som. Daps trying to back into the site. Desperate times, calling for desperate measures here. Ethan, first one forward, but no, it's the Sheriffs, and all oh, the shorties also finding value. At the end, 100 Thieves will be able to win the site, but it comes at a cost, and now you're dealing with Android. Yeah, he's at low HP, but you feel like anything is possible with a Sheriff in his hands. Nitro healed up back to full now, so enough time for Nitro to get two heals so far in this round. Obviously, the first one was available at the start of the round. 17 health here, no hot hands, no extra heals. Android would need two taps, and he would have to find them quickly as well. I suspect that 100 Thieves, even if Android gets a kill, they'll just trade him. His position's been revealed now. If he hits that shot, though... The play would be very much so alive. Weapons down low. Android looks like he's just going to give up the play for the defuse and see if he can maybe catch one more kill, earning him closer and closer to that run it back. Comes down to the timing here. Nitro, the one to come across. Misses the first headshot. 
lot of his shots on spent. We'll read that there is another contestant inside. Showstopper immediately, but oh, Daps just runs right through and finds the kill, leaving Asuna out to dry, in which EU finds the kill. Also, the flank potentially going to be a consideration as Shakes has worked his way around this play, and 100 Thieves are now bottled and trapped right around B main. They're trying to exit backwards. Shanks. He's got to play time. He's going to hear all of these footsteps. And now the timing of the call finds a lot of damage. Able to find one with help of Android for another. Just down to Nitro. Healing word will get him back to respectable health. But Spectre at long range versus the Vandal of a <laughs> Android. You don't feel good about it. And NRG now find themselves up 11 to 5. Angle. Shanks is here for help in case it's required, which it very well may be. Slow Orb comes down. Ethan's going to find one. The hot hand's able to respond. The boom bot, a lot of value. Hunter's Fury is also out here for Eco, and goodness, he may have just done more damage to his teammates than he did to his opponents for a moment there. Dap's still alive inside Tree. We'll find another elimination, and it comes down to Eco. 100 HP and a Sheriff, and maybe the hopes and dreams of trying to extend this but it's gonna be now match point roster how does he rather how does nitro look on his new position what is a team without dicey gonna look like if you want to call it but look at the score line i mean you got to explain to me how 100 things are supposed to do this now if you don't want me to call it oh, especially not just down one but down a second with shanks operator on the table resurrections available it should be able to get the player over towards the back of catwalk freely but the rest of this round will be a 4v5. And are they actually? Okay, so they're considering trying to bring the Omen back just to see if they can get some use out of that from the Shadows. But of course, the utility from Hiko, absolutely the right call. So they've worked their way up into A main so far. I mean, NRG is just playing this one very slowly and safely as well. They've placed defaults two over to B, one in mid, two over towards A, ready for any rotations. You just have to not have NRG members die for no reason. They'll be fine. In fact, Shanks even might have time to get his operator to heaven. He does. Now Shanks can enough the ah. kill. It's huge. Barrier orb gets placed. It's kind of a defensive screen on the way in, but it does not keep Nitro alive. Daps up top, trying to assist just to make sure that Shanks is not fully challenged. Last hope for 100 Thieves. Rests on the shoulders of three. NRG going to give away the plant. Shanks full utility and a blade storm. Sees the head, misses the first blade. Also tagged down quite low. And how about the paint shells? Pushing them back, getting a little bit of extra breathing room for 100 Thieves. But now here comes the hit. Over the top, Shanks for his third elimination. Som finds the fourth, just down to Hiko. Flash, oh, Android was trying to play for the BM knife. Not gonna make a difference. NRG, a welcoming party for Android. A little bit of humor and comedy for him as 